Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue torturing this poor little external drive. This is the Solo Hawk from IOSafe and this drive here is something we've already punished a fair old bit. In the previous videos we have submerged it in ice, we've dropped it from 10 feet and smashing the ice and we've driven over it several times with a car just to see if it can live up to its promise that it's a survivor. We've already filled it with um, a 1.1 gigabyte cat video and then we've made sure that, that file was not devastated in those previous tests. We're going to continue today with torturing this drive with putting it in boiling water. We're going to keep it in boiling water for an extended period of time to see if the SSD inside can survive the latest rig rigor that we're going to put it through. Now, it's worth highlighting first and foremost that all the tests that we're performing, where possible, exceed what they say will survive it's you know more than enough for them to say it will survive this that and the other we want to go beyond that to see if it still survives and it's worth highlighting that this drive is not certified to survive intense heat it's not like the iosafe 1019 that we tortured back in last summer this drive is not supposed to survive the test that we're going to do today. So if it doesn't survive we can't really have a go at iosafe for this but at the same time I think it will. I think it will survive these tests because it has proven itself to be quite a resilient drive so far. And if you take a good look, we've still got all the dents, the knocks and the chips from when we, this drive was driven over and when it was smashed out of the ice just about two weeks ago. So what I'm going to do is connect this drive. It should still have all the data on it that we did all those copies and pastes before. And we can move over to the mobile screen now that will show us connecting this drive. So if I move onto the screen here, we should be able to see this drive pop up. So if we go into, we're already in the My Computer folder, and there it is, it's popped up there. It's on the Solo Hawk, we can go into it, and there's all of those copies of data that we created last time. So just to make sure that we're doing this test properly, we're gonna delete all but one of these, and then all but one of those files is now going to be deleted. So we're going to stick with this one and we're going to rename this one new test okay we're going to click that file to play it and there's that cat once again there might be a slight hiccup there on the visual uh, there for you guys because i'm using a video capture software obs recommend it enough but if we look along we can see the cat's there playing of all that stuff from that 15 minute live stream video that we did before so we've got that file there. We're going to make a bunch of copies of that file. So we're just going to paste and we're going to paste and we're going to paste to make a few copies of that file on this disk. Don't worry too much about the read and write of that file on this drive because one, we are doing simultaneous read write at once and two, we are using standard USB external on this while being handled by the Windows PC. So this one gig file recreation, you will see the speeds ramp up as we do each one one by one. And because we're using a standard system to conduct these operations, that does affect the read and write. And of course, this is a video file, which is already pretty heavily compressed. If these were loose files, we might see different speeds. But we're not here to look at speeds today. We're here to look at resilience. Now, while it does that in the background, uh, someone did note on my first video, I don't really talk much about the drive because I do try to highlight that this is an SSD inside, and that is very, very true. But it's worth noting this is going to cost a lot more than a standard 500 gig SSD. Remember, this is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 drive, which means you are going to be getting 10 gigabit per second transmission between you and it. Secondly, it has got this casing and this survival um, kind of built into it for its ruggedness and long-term resistance. The fact that it can survive 10 feet drops, three days in 10 feet of uh, water. We froze it for seven days, I might add. And a bunch of other things that it's protected against, along with its own warranty and data recovery uh, included with the drive. So data recovery services included with it, in case you do need to recover that data. That's an, kind of the main reasons why this 500 gig SSD costs as much as it does because it is a survivor. And this, this series of videos is to show you guys that it can withstand things. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. We want to know if this drive is going to survive these tests. So we've almost finished our multiple copyright operation. Um, let's have a look. Nearly done there in the background. And it's going to finish that in just a moment. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take this drive, head on downstairs, 
um, fire up. We've got like a, a cooker thing set up there. We're going to fill it with water and get that up till it's boiling like crazy. And then we're going to drop this drive inside. We've got to double check it, make sure it's nice and hot and leave it there for an extended period. I'm thinking 15 or 30 minutes. I haven't quite decided yet, but those copies have now taken place. We can have a look, just play, play one of these copies. I'm sorry, I just tapped the mic there accidentally. We can have a look there. There's the cat still mucking around with that drive. Uh, sorry, I drive the little buffalo there. As you can see, the file is fine. We're just going to come out of that. And I'm going to make my way downstairs and start the heat version of this video. I'll see you down there. Right, so we've made our way downstairs and we've boiled up a whole pile of water here. Now, I've got a thermometer right now. And if we look at that, we can see that it hasn't gone too much up, although I am holding it. We are looking at around 20 there. So if we pop that reader into this device here, we'll pop that up and hopefully there on camera, you can see that this water is going to be over 100 C. So we'll get that checked on there. As you can see, we're just approaching 100 there. So hopefully the camera can make that out. So as you can see, this water is nice and boiling. So all that's left to do really is to take our Solo Hawk drive and make ourselves a bit of a data casserole. So we're going to take this drive, and again, I do advise you to use much better gloves than the ones I'm wearing. And we're going to take the drive, and we're going to pop it in. Um, we're going to leave it half submerged, um, and we'll see how that goes. Actually, do you know what? Let's make a test a test. Let's drop the whole drive into that water, and we're going to leave the lid on with a little bit of air escaping there. And right now, I'm looking at the time there, it is 11.33, so let's get that off of there. As you can see, we're looking at 11.33 on the screen. And hopefully that is, we'll come back at about 12 o'clock, hopefully the water won't completely, uh, completely gone. And we'll take that drive out of here and connect it in to see if our cat videos have survived. Remember, this is experiment four of the Solo Hawk external SSD test to see if it will survive boiling water and we'll get this back upstairs to see if the cat videos have survived so i'll see you in about half an hour Right, so it's been just over half an hour, and if we have a look at the time, you can see there, hopefully that's clear on screen. I'm sorry if there's been kind of interference and noise there during this video, because of the bubbling there in the background. But what we're gonna do now is remove our freshly cooked drive from here, trying not to burn myself too much, and we're going to let it cool down a little bit and connect and see what's happened. But for now, let's remove this drive, which I think is going to be a lot harder than I give it credit for. So let's have a look. So there's our drive. Let's get that out of there. And we're already starting to see some of the markers there. And like kind of the dust, the uh, condensation and the residue starting to take effect there on our drive. Let's try and bring that closer to the camera for you guys. There we go, without dropping it, hopefully. If we turn it around without burning my fingers too much, we can have a look at the USB-C port. Um, it looks like one of the feet off the bottom has come off. Um, it's actually possible it's a little hot. Um, so if we move that closer to the camera for you guys, have a good look at that. Turn that around. Again, I can touch it. I don't think I can hold it for too long. Um, I'll probably get that out of there. Um, but once again, it has come out of that water. I wish there was a way to test the temperature of this drive, but unfortunately not. Maybe if I hold that parallel, I can find out a little bit more about the temperature of this disc right now. This might not be a fair test with my thumb pressed against it. But we can have a good look there and see if that's going up. And it is gradually increasing there. Have a look there. Hopefully that's on camera. I'm sorry if there is absolutely nothing. I can't see the thermometer. So for all I know, I'm just waving a thermometer at you that's doing nothing. But it is climbing up. We're looking at um, 65 degrees um, C. So we've got that there. And again, the drive itself is largely fine. I've got to say, the water is still very much boiling there. We are up to 100. Hopefully I'm not going to soak my glove in boiling water there. 
Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to go upstairs and connect this drive to see if it is going to survive the heat and, and to see if our cat videos have survived. So let's make our way upstairs. the heat from the base of the device and if I move this just forward here we can see that the rubberized feet one of them was lost during the cooking and the other ones have kind of bent up a little bit from the heat uh, and the surroundings of the drive look pretty much the same but there's definitely sort of marking there and I've tried to dry it off as much as I can and if we bring the USB port nice and close we can see that that rubberized kind of silicon around the edge I think that might have suffered something in the interim. Um, and again, I haven't connected this drive yet, so I have no idea what's about to happen. Um, if it doesn't can, if it doesn't work, I'm putting it out there immediately that I will make this video live straight away. Um, but without further ado, I don't think there's any avoiding it anymore. Let's connect this drive up. Uh, and then, oh, something happened there. So it's, it's already immediately recognized that drive there on my screen recording. We'll open it up. Because again, even if it sees it, we've still got to test the files. If we make our way into the PC list, there's the Solo Hawk drive. Um, okay, so once again, we'll double check that that is indeed the drive. So we're going to disconnect it. And it should disconnect the drive from visible screen. And then we'll reconnect it. I'm sorry if the mic, the mic is exceptionally close to me right now. So I do apologize um, if I'm coming across a bit booming during this. So yep, we've got the drive connected. So the next thing we can do is remove a wooden glove and we'll test one of these files so we'll see if we've got anything going on again do bear in mind that we are using screen recording software here so we can play that there let's play that file because again the NAND chips inside this must be exceptionally hot right now um, so again we've got that same pixelization we had before because of the capture recording software we're using um, so if we move forward I'm saying that, I can't see the pixelization. I can just see that my, my fan has suddenly lit up. So again, moving forward there, if we fast forward. And the file is still accessible. This 1.1 gigabyte video file still seems to be functioning right now. Uh, the drive itself is still pretty hot. It is an SSD, so we weren't too worried so much about the drive with all this external casing. But I've got to say, the Solo Hawk survived half an hour. In pretty much boiling water dipping above um, just under I think 100 C pretty much the whole time and I'm, I'll am i be honest I'm calling that an experiment that succeeded it did very well so now I've got to come up with something else to do to this drive that's super annoying isn't it why don't you suggest something and remember if you do make any suggestions like you did on the previous videos on the other channels do make sure that your suggestions are at least within the realms of realistic because We've, we're trying to simulate here test scenarios where these are things that could actually happen. And large-scale heat, large-scale frost, dropping and crush damage are all things that can happen in the real world that you need your data protected from. But the IO Safe Hawk here, I don't know where that scratch has come from, um, is definitely, in my book, a success right now. And personally, I do recommend this drive right now. We are going to do more tests on it, and I can't wait to see what we do. And if we finally do break this drive, but if once again, suggestions below. Click like if you've enjoyed this video. Click subscribe to learn more, and I'll see you on the next video.